Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your uh, June 2nd through the 8th reading. It's a weekly read. It will not resonate with every Gemini. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, make sure you comment a yes or no question below. It could be selected for me to answer for free every Friday. Okay? So let's jump into it. We have three cards. The top of the week, middle of the week, end of the week. Overall energy. So we have the Magician, the Devil, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups. So this is a situation where, I mean, it's it's torn. Um, the Gemini is... Um, The Gemini has not the idea of how a marriage or commitment should look, but that's not how it is. In this, I'm speaking to my committed and married Geminis. In this marriage, in this commitment, there is lust, there there is lies, there's deceit, and that might be what keeps you guys together. There's codependency, there's addiction. There is someone who is not good for you or vice versa who you feel makes you very happy, who you have a commitment with, who you both have made obligation to. Um, there is someone who keeps options open. There is someone who makes promises just to break them. There is someone who is a cheating spouse. This could be you, Gemini. This could be the other person. Uh, there is just a, an overall ill marriage. If something is ill, it can be healed, right? It can be repaired or it can be fixed or healed. There's an ill marriage here. Maybe you, some of you feel you married the wrong person or you made commitment to the wrong person. There are now children or other obligations involved in this commitment. Some of you, um, you feel this way or someone feels this way about you or it's, or it's mutual. There are, um, yeah, there's just a, a feeling of discontentment, boredom. Um, you're at a place of wondering, of uh, not being happy with what you've created with a certain person. There may be some manipulation here. There's somebody, there's like lower vibrational energy within a dynamic. Um, there may even be separation for some of you. You're separated from someone and you're contemplating, is this the right person? Or they're asking you that. We're not asking you, but they're asking themselves that about you. Um, you guys, there's a likeness or even love there. But at the same time, there's other people talking. And then there's also your own talk, your own mind about, is this the best option in, in person to date for me? All right. So my single Gemini, is there somebody or some situation that makes you very happy you fantasize about this person. You think about them. Um, you may be a little emotionally torn in regards to how to get back with them. You have the idea of wanting to reestablish. You're trying to use all measures in regards to try to get what you want with this person or out of this person. Ask yourself, is this a dead end road? Everybody's been getting the devil. So the devil is about entrapment and clothes being doing something that is going to get you nowhere. It's no good. It's um, a no go. So you have to ask yourself is going back to or allowing person to come back to is this good for you? Or is this a dead end street? Is will you be sacrificing, uh, doing all of the work, um, the only one giving to have nothing gained here? Will you feel entrapped and closed here with this person? 
uh, so many questions to ask with the devil. The devil is so much about just lower vibrational stuff. Things that just are not for you. But it makes you happy. There's a level or an element of happiness in regards to dealing with a particular person. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Gemini or Aries. Um, it could be anyone. If this, if the shoe fits, it fits. There could be strong sexual energy between the two of you. Like I said, a lot of lust here. Gemini, the the advice for the week is to evaluate what or who you want. What's the end result? What's the end game here? Because the devil is about dead ends. Okay. All right, Gemini. If you feel like this resonated with you for you then go over to the website you can book your own reading just like this a three card spread that will give you a, a bit of clarity about your situation that three card spread is six dollars 66 cents we are in the sixth month of the year the 666 is about conquering the devil energy making a choice the, the sixth card is the choice uh, a life altering choice uh, to go on a new path or a new route, hopefully, or the route that best suits you, um, conquering that devil energy, okay? So, Gemini, all links are below. Know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take advantage of that reading. $6.66. All right. Bye, guys.